Hello, I'm Alex Lapkus, and today I want to talk to you about a boat box for a medium-sized river. Now, I've talked about wade fishing boxes before and, and, and big water boxes as well. Now, this is kind of the intersection. One of the bigger things that I will look at as we go into a boat box for a medium-sized river that I don't do as much on the wade fishing side is I will fish more unweighted flies, and that's just because it's inherently easier and more effective to fish unweighted flies on a sink tip out of a drift boat than a lot of times it is wade fishing. So I'll have more of that stuff. Um, we're going to kind of stay in that same sort of range though, and I've talked about mid-sized river characteristics. They're going to be more defined by a lot of one to three feet of water with your deeper spots being maybe four to five, but the majority of the river is going to be one, two shallow flats with little trenches. Uh, Upper Manistee, the uh, Sable, a lot of the western rivers fish that way, like the Madison where it's shallow a lot. On edges, um, the Yellowstone's a little different. That's a little bigger river. So a lot of this, and it even comes into play a little bit when you're fishing bigger rivers at low flows or even taking that big river and fishing it small. That's when you might dump down to this size flies, boat box type of deal as well. Um, once again, the circus peanuts. Articulated fat heads are a good choice. Keeps it up off the bottom. You can get a nice long presentation with an unweighted fly. Great thing to run. Skull head deceivers always work. Same deal, five inches or so. Um, those will fish either way. On the sink tip or even a floating line if you have to, the, the flies I incorporate a little bit more are some of the single hook unweighted flies, like a, uh, this is a bow bugger, woolly sculpin, whatever you want to call it, deer hair woolly bugger, um, small zoo cougars, you know, stuff like that. Those flies will fish really well out of a, out of a boat with a sink tip. Um, sink tips inherently are just difficult to fish, weight fishing as they sink a bunch and wrap on your feet and everything else. So I will kind of expand my box at that point to more unweighted flies. Typical stuff still though for, for a mid-river boat box, I've got the standard colors, circus peanuts, you know, black. You can really go about any direction. The majority of the flies that are on the market now kind of fit in this realm. Four to six inch flies, it's what most people fish. You can throw them on a six or a seven weight. You don't necessarily have to go to an eight. As we start getting into the big river stuff, that's when it's more eights and nine weights and seven to eight inch flies. A lot of this stuff is going to be able to be thrown with a 250 grain on a seven, a 200 grain on a six, or however you want to do it. I fish a, a 150 on a on a six weight sometimes with some of these in the summer, you know, low water deal. Um, that's all worked well, you know, and as I say, you know, I kind of downsize. This is a, a time, you know, this is kind of the size that a lot of flies are out on the market. So I do carry a bunch of stuff in here. You know, typically I carry kind of a mid-weight, mid-size box like this. And then I have my bigger box, which will carry more of the six inch flies and stuff like that. So obviously I take a ton of stuff. Another fly that, that, that I've done well on, on those type rivers, and especially in this color, is the Conrad Sculpin and Olive and, and Ginger. For some reason, that's been a great, uh, typically more of a clear water fly, spring, works really good that time of year. That two-tone seems to really get it done at certain times. Once again, four to five inch range. The one thing that we've kind of talked about is fishing the unweighted flies uh, with a sink tip out of the boat. And those are gonna give you really good long presentations. You can fish these flies slower, let them hang over structure. Um, that's one thing that the boat allows you to do a little bit better is fish your flies in the prime spots longer versus a cast and a strip through. You know, you can get a nice long presentation, one that starts at the top end of a pool and you can actually work it with that sink tip and a slow retrieve kind of working that fly halfway through the pool. So you can show that fly to a lot of fish. When you're fishing lead, you have a tendency to have to strip it faster away from the bank to prevent it from hanging up unless you're weight fishing. And then you have obviously the belly of the line helping keep the fly up. So. As you move more from wade fishing into boat fishing of a medium-sized river, that is the one area I would cover more is unweighted flies, but you're still in the one to five inch range. Hopefully this clarifies some stuff. Um, I take a ton of flies regardless of where and what, but you can get it done with a lot less. Just make sure you have different weights to cover different, different depths and different situations. That's going to help you out more than anything. Thanks.